Okay, so this is a continuation of our dimensions tutorial. If I go back um, just to show you what we did in the previous video. So we talked about the golden rules, most importantly, keeping things neat, trying to make sure that they're laid out tidily, easy to read. We're not having multiple dimensions and we're just trying to be careful about how we um, lay out the, uh, the different dimensions so that they're really clear. Had a little look last time at this flat plate. So this time we're going to have a look at the sh uh, a shaft. So we've got a cylindrical part. Um, we've got two views of the part. Um, and we want to make sure that we're laying them out nice and tidily. So same as before. Uh, first thing we can think about is our center lines. So it's a cylindrical part. So we need a center line going all the way across here. So if I was to put a um, two point center line between here and here, that's got me covered um, right way through the part and uh, also on this one here I'm going to need a center line to create a center mark I'm going to need it to do something like that and something like that so if we just put the little cross in the middle it's not really going to be telling us what we need to know so what do we have we've obviously got an outside diameter I'm going to put that over here because I can see that on this one I'm going to have a diameter of 40 um, and then looking at this end here, what, what I can see is that is a obviously a, a diameter of 20, but it's got a, a, a big fillet on the end. So if I was just to mention that there, um, if you think about what the part actually looks like, if I show you, it's actually going to be a spherical radius because that part filleted, a filleted part on a, uh, on a round like that is going to be uh, spherical. So what I need to do there is I need to add... Um, I'm going to double click on the dimension, this box pops up, I can change this so I can add symbols if I need to add symbols, I'm going to add a, uh, oops, if I can get in front of the R, a capital letter S and that tells me that that is a spherical radius of 10. Now if I've got that there, telling me that that is a radius of 10, uh, I know that that here is going to have to be 20, so I don't need that dimension that would be adding two dimensions i don't need them both so that's an example of how you can um, make sure that you're not over dimensioning your 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 parts so we've got the big we've got this one here we've got that covered uh this one here we've done this one here so we need to put a dimension on there now i could turn on the hidden detail if i turn on hidden detail it's going to get quite messy uh quite quickly oh it's actually got one bit i could so i could put that on i could dimension that that edge there through it what i'm going to do instead though is i'm going to dimension it here um, just to make it a little bit clearer um, is that right though is that a linear dimension no it's not it's a diameter so we're going to need to double click on this on the on the number on the dimension i want to insert a symbol and i want to insert a diameter symbol and what that does then is it drops the diameter symbol in front of the 16 so we know that is now a cylinder diameter 16. What else do we have? We've got some lengths. So we've got one here. There's a 40. We've got this main body of the cylinder here. And we have got the, um, now we could either, we do one of two. I'm gonna dimension it to, um, actually I'm gonna dimension this line here. Okay, I'm gonna do that because I know I've got 40 there, 70 there, 25, that's gonna be another 10. Okay, so that is my lengths uh, dimensions. I've got that diameter, this diameter, and I've got that diameter covered. The only thing I haven't got is these chamfers. Now, um, the specific way to dimension chamfers, which includes the length of the chamfer and also the angle. These look like 40 degree, 45 degree angles. Um, and helpfully, there's a tool in the dimension section of the Onshape uh, kind of menus here underneath dimension chamfer now what you need to do for zooming nice and close is pick the chamfered length and then pick one of the verticals next to it or the horizontals I'm going to pick that one there and that's going to give me a dimension so I've got three that's three millimeters and it's a 45 degree chamfer so I can drop that up there and I can do the same on this one click on there click on there and it pops up again and if I do that look I can get it in line with the other one a horizontal line going across so just those few um sizes and i've got that completely dimensioned i'm going to drop in my 
elevation and my end elevation over here. Now, one little note here, you see how it's it's returned the line because the, the box is too small to fit it in. I think it's a bit messy if you leave it like that. All you need to do look, is come up to these arrows and just drag it and it'll make the box bigger. So if you wanted to put a, a longer bit of text for a sort of detail or a description or a note or something, you can make that box as big as you like. So there's our two labeled views. Um, one thing again, I mentioned last time, arrows are too small. So if we come over here, I make my uh, decimal separator a period on the comma. I'm going to go to, to the dimensions and I'm going to make my um, arrowheads five, gap of two, two and three. Um, and and that's done it on these as well. That's good. That's so clear. So I can see the gaps. I can see the arrows. I can see much more clearly what's going on. OK, so that's that's the sort of thing we maybe look at if we have got a cylindrical part, uh, putting chamfers on it, thinking about how you might add a dim diameter, uh, dimension on a diameter on an elevation, which is perfectly acceptable. Um, we could have put it on this one. Um, it's just, I don't think it would have been quite as clear. You might have misread it and thought it was that part there. So I've put it out there instead. So I'll leave it there. That's uh, cylinders, cylindrical sort of shapes. The next uh, video I'll look at just a short one on how we might put um, a dimensions and particularly a centerline onto a swept shape like this.